how's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel it's been a few days since i uh, had the forge lit i've uh, just been doing a lot of editing trying to get all those videos out a couple things i picked up one of those off days was uh one of those wireless mics make it a little bit easier to uh hear me hopefully especially when the forge is lit there's all kinds of other things that are going on um another thing i ended up picking up was a uh new welding hood so uh today not really gonna continue on the knife just yet. I wanted to do some upgrades for the forge. Okay, so that first modification I wanna do is I basically wanna put a plate right here. I did used to use these bricks and just slide those along the front, but when you're trying to use tongs or something like that, it's just very cumbersome. You can tell I've broken quite a few of them, even that one right there. Um, you kinda of just stack them up, but something that is a little more maneuverable is what I'm trying to come up with here. So if I got the blade sitting in here, basically what I want to do is I want to create something out of this piece of steel right here. Uh, I can't remember what the gauge is on that. Anyways, uh, I'll cut out like a, maybe a little L notch out of there and then have the handle come weld up to that point right there. Kind of like that. And then I can put that in there and hopefully it'll actually be at a little bit of an angle that'll allow some of that uh, pressure to have an escape and not build up in there too much. Um, so I can have a little notch right there like that and then on the other side I can just have like a like a, just a little uh, spot so that a piece of rebar can just slip right into there. And that way if I have a handle weld to whatever it is, all I gotta do is put it on the side and it'll notch in like that or if I have the whole piece out, just flip it over and come down like that. I'll show you that in a second here. Um, the other thing I want to do is uh, modify the, the wheel chalk. I basically just got a piece of angle iron that goes under the front wheels. Stops it from rolling down the driveway or anything like that. I just want to put a handle on it. Uh, something a little bit easier to pick it up when I'm cleaning up and uh, also put back. And, and at the same time, it'll designate that piece of rebar as being the wheel chalk. So those are a couple projects that I want to work on right now. So let's get to it. All right, well, first things first, let's take the piece of rebar I'm gonna use, clean up that tip, get it ready for welding. So, basically, it's gonna get welded in to there, and I'll be able to rotate. That's going to be our first bend mark right there. That's my next bend location right there. Now for the handle.
must. Well, put the handle back on. That's a little better. Let's do the handle now. We'll use that side. All right, so now with the handle on the uh, wheel chalk, this is how it works. Just slip it right up underneath. And inadvertently, when I built this, and I didn't plan on it, but it comes with a kickstand. Hang it up on the handle just like that when I uh, need to roll it up into the garage. You can e I can even put it up on the side. Not bad. All right, so put our project piece in there. Forge is burning. Plenty of flame coming out here. Been heating this up. Now we can just say stop. That allows that flame to come out the top instead of heating up my handle anymore. All right, and then say the pieces out here because I want. I'm trying to heat up the tip right here, just using that front burner. I can put it just like that. So I think that's gonna help out a lot. And that's uh, that's it. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching. And please hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. Anyways, um, sorry we didn't get back to the cuckoo today. Uh, really need to get these modifications done to help me out just a little bit. Anyways, speaking of helping me out, please subscribe. And uh, hit that uh, bell so you can be notified in the next video. Thank you.